What's up Ascenders? Today I'll be talking about the first thing that needs to happen before you achieve any goal that you've set for yourself. Stick around to find out what it is. Successfully achieving a goal always begins with one thing and that's the belief that you'll someday achieve that goal. Now that sort of sense of confidence that lines up with believing in your deepest parts of you that you will successfully achieve that goal someday is the first and most important thing that needs to happen as you begin and embark on the journey of achieving that goal. Now why that's important is because if you don't have that sense of confidence and you don't fully believe that you have the capacity and the ability to achieve a goal, it becomes an uphill battle to take the actions that you need to take in order to achieve it. Now on the flip side of that, if you have the sense of confidence that's associated with believing in the deepest parts of you that that goal is going to be achieved in your future, taking the actions that need to be taken in order to achieve that goal becomes a lot easier because now it's those actions are just a matter of this is what needs to be done but for that person that lacks that sense of confidence there will always be in the back of their mind whether the actions that they're taking and the effort and the time that they're spending towards achieving this goal there will always be that that concern that it might be for for nothing right there there might be that concern that they might be taking these steps and perhaps there's a there's a potential or possibility that they don't achieve the goal that they've set but now going back to that sense of confidence the confidence that you need to really believe in yourself and really have full faith that 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 goal will someday be achieved it's going to support you in the challenges and overcoming the obstacles that you may face as you embark on that journey of achieving that goal. Zig Ziglar once said a quote that really stuck with me and it went something along the lines of this, to consistently behave in a manner that's inconsistent with how you view yourself is next to impossible. Now that connects back to that sense of confidence that I was speaking to because what Zig is referring to here is trying to act in a way that doesn't really reflect the person you think you are is only going to be able you're only going to be able to do that for so long. So now coming back to the topic of achieving goals taking the actions that you need to take in order to achieve a goal when deep down you don't fully feel capable of, of achieving that goal is is only going to last so long there you, you very likely will reach a point where maybe you're not progressing at the rate you'd like to right and and you start to wonder and you start to feel concerned that maybe the actions that you're taking is all for nothing and that belief will be the reason why you ultimately give up. So now I want to talk a little bit about how can we address the reasons why you may not feel that sense of confidence and that, that belief in yourself and I think it boils down to what I refer to as limiting beliefs. A limiting belief is a belief that you have that holds you back from feeling feeling capable or from pursuing something that you would otherwise pursue. So what we have to understand about beliefs is that they're man-made. Beliefs are nothing more but a story that we've created. See, we create beliefs to put a meaning towards something we've taken something that has happened or something that that we've we've seen or experienced and said this is what it means and we store that meaning inside us in the form of a belief now understanding this understanding that beliefs are something that we've created is the first step 
in reversing any the any of the beliefs that we have that may be limiting us now what sense does it make to allow yourself to hold on to a belief that holds you back from achieving something that you desire of course not so the first step in cultivating the sense of confidence that you require to tackle a goal is determining the limiting beliefs that hold you back. This can be done with some simple reflection by spending some time thinking about the reasons why you don't feel capable of achieving the goals that you've set. You'll start to determine what beliefs do you have that make you feel like you're not worth achieving that goal. The next step in the process is trying to determine where those beliefs are rooted. Now, this may be a little bit more challenging than first than the first step, which was identifying the limiting belief. But with time and with, with reflection, you'll find that you can very often start to zone in on the times in your life where you started to believe that limiting belief that you have. You may find that a lot of those beliefs actually stems from your childhood, right? Because very often in our childhood, we tend to take in everything that is being told and shown to us and create our own belief system out of them. But again, by now addressing the roots of those beliefs, trying to determine where in your life did you first start believing those things that hold you back, those, those limiting beliefs, you'll start to realize that those events, those areas or those times in your life that started making you feel the way that you felt really has no association with your current capabilities. So to allow a belief, again, a story that we've created in the past because of an event that has happened in the past affect how we feel about ourselves right now and how we feel about our capabilities again makes no real sense and with that now you can start to reverse those limiting beliefs by first acknowledging that they were there and then replacing them with empowering beliefs so i'll give you a simple example many many times what happens with with people that that lack self-confidence is that they don't feel good enough for achieving to to achieve the goals that they have because back when they were younger again back in their childhood they were constantly told that they weren't good enough now that might have not been directly it could have been an indirect statement from someone like their parents that made them feel not worthy what it is that they were pursuing. I mean, one that I commonly seen is parents not being happy with the grades that a children, uh, um, sorry, not being happy with, with the grades that a child brings home. Now, you can start to see how a child hearing from their parents or being scolded by their parents for, for the grades that they have can lead to them telling them themselves, telling themselves a story that I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to make my, my parents happy. And again, what tends to happen is these beliefs get stored now and they can stay within a person. They can even grow within a person for, for many, many years. And until that person identifies that they first ha that they have this limiting belief, it's very likely that it'll remain and it'll remain a part of their belief system. So I do plan to make some content in the future to really address the process of reversing a limiting belief because another step to that which I haven't really dived too into just yet is that beliefs can be stored in our body as emotions. Now the idea that emotions get stored in our body is one that will take a little bit more time for me to explain so I will save that for another video but for now let me leave you with this. We very often have beliefs that hold us back and these beliefs 
have no business keeping us from feeling capable and confident in achieving the goals that we've set. So I encourage you to spend some time on a regular basis reflecting and trying to determine what beliefs that what beliefs do you have that may hold you back from believing in yourself and then what is the true belief that should replace that that will then empower you to go out and achieve the things that you've set out to. Guys, if you have any questions about a sense of confidence or limiting beliefs, please do leave them in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.